All right, 50 past the hour. That means we're going to share a little weather wisdom with you by answering your questions about the weather. Today's question is actually related to natural climate patterns that we have discovered uh, over the past several years. Matt Myers asks, what does a La Nina weather pattern mean for temperatures in the northeastern United States for the summer month? So that's a beefy one. <laughs> Let's talk about La Nina versus El Nino. Of course, those are the two uh, features that we look at out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There are regions out here they look at, and when they look at El Nino and La Nina, they look at regions three and four, okay? Uh, El Nino with the warmer than average water temperatures, La Nina is simply the opposite of that. And it's kind of interesting, going back uh, in data, there's about as many La Ninas as there are El Ninos, believe it or not. But let's talk about the differences in them because they are plentiful, especially in the summertime. We want to have a La Nina uh, especially in the United States, because a strong, a moderate to strong El Nino does tend to shear off hurricanes as they come toward the west. We have no sign of that uh, coming up this summer, though. But the thunderstorms develop over the warmer waters, create stronger upper level winds, and those tend to shear off the tops of the thunderstorms. Doesn't always happen. That doesn't mean you can't get any hurricanes. La Nina is the opposite. Um, and, and what's interesting about La Nina is, especially given the fact that you asked about the summer in the northeast, is maybe there's a little bit of an influence certainly on a warmer summer. But La Nina, what really defines it for me is the fact that winter times can be showing big time ridges in the west and troughs in the east where it's cold and dry uh, in the Ohio Valley on southward. And that, that, that stands out more than anything. So it's typically a, a La Nina winter that, that shows up more prominent. Now, what is the forecast going on in time? First of all, these are probability numbers. They go up. Uh, these are three month increments, February, March, April, March, April, May. They do overlap and they'll run models and, and put different features in it, just like we do for weather. And you can see that most of the high probabilities in the gray here are in neutral. So going forward in through the summer and through the fall and winter, we have a higher probability certainly of having neutral conditions, but there is some of the guidance that suggests potentially heading into El Nino as we get into the late fall or even into the early winter. Great question. What weather do you want to gain some wisdom about? Send us your questions on social media, either by tagging AMHQ or using the hashtag weatherwisdom, and we will answer them every day at 50 past the hour.